One of my favorite things about this YouTube channel is when viewers invent and build new mousetraps and then send me a prototype to test out. Today for Mousetrap Monday, we're going to take a look at a brand new mousetrap invented by a YouTube viewer named Derek Williams. It's a single catch mousetrap with a teeter-totter mechanism and magnets and it looks like it's going to work really well. Derek calls this the Trapnetic Mousetrap. He has a website called Trapnetic.com and is going through the process of getting a patent on this design. So let me show you how this works. The front here has the entryway. This is the bottom of the teeter-totter with magnets. And up here we have a top with more magnets. Those connect when the mouse goes in. The back removes, you just pull it off. This is where you put your bait. You put a little peanut butter there. The mouse will want to go up the ramp to get that peanut butter. They enter, step on the back, and it closes with the magnets. And what I like is there's a little space for the tail to go in so it doesn't get caught. And these magnets are really powerful so when the mouse walks back up the ramp, it won't go down. This is a very simple design and I can't wait to see if it works. Let's go get our pet mice, see if they'll go in the trap, go up the ramp, and get caught. For this test, we'll use one of our black pet mice. That worked perfectly. The mouse went in there, stepped on the teeter-totter, and the magnets closed the door. And there was a space so the tail could go through. The trap netic worked really well on our pet mice. Let's go set this up in the barn with motion cameras and see if we can get wild mice. Last night I set up this trapnetic mouse trap in the barn and it worked really well. The mouse wanted to get the bait, went in there, stepped on the teeter-totter, and got caught with those powerful magnets. Now she's been in there all night, she doesn't seem stressed, it's not foggy, there's good ventilation. The only problem is she did try to chew through a hole here, but overall a really good design that worked well. Now people keep asking when I'm going to run out of traps to feature for my YouTube channel. Well I don't see that happening anytime soon. In my collection, I have over 200 antique and vintage traps that I still need to feature. There's constantly new traps being sold on the market. And I've been going through books from the 1800s on trapping, and there's so many different designs I want to build and test out. Also, YouTube viewers keep inventing and building new traps and sending me the prototype to test out. I love when that happens. To release her, we'll just pull off the lid. I'm going to be careful because this is how I got my finger bit with that bowl. I'm posting between four and five rodent trap videos a week, so if you want to see how to catch mice, rats, squirrels, chipmunks, moles, voles, and gophers, stay tuned. And if you invented a new mousetrap design, send me a message. I might feature it in a future Mousetrap Monday video.